robots will replace you. Each one of you. How? Well, they kind of already did. Remember Ms. Harati, the person who would drunk during Ramadan, waking people to eat to before a Fajr prayer? Well, we don't see him as often. And one of the major reasons is this, the invention of the clock. After in the, the invention of the clock, we don't need to pay someone to wake us up at a certain hour. We have our little invention that we can use to wake us up whatever we wanted, whenever we wanted, without actually paying someone to do it. And with the advancement of technology, now the clock is one of the many apps in your phone that you can tell Siri in less than 20 seconds to set an alarm for you. This is just a brief example of how technology reshaped the concept of jobs over the years. And with that being said, let's see together how technology will affect future jobs. The Hadrian X. The Hadrian X it is the first robot that can lay 1,000 bricks an hour. The task that will take one, uh, two bricklayers a whole day. That raises a question. What will happen to the jobs of bricklayers? The second, Tally. Tally, it is the world's first fully autonomous self-auditing and analytic solution. And what do I mean by all of this? It is the first robot that can roam supermarket aisles along humans and within business hours and check that everything is placed priced and stacked correctly. What will happen to the jobs of supermarket employees? The third thing, Waymo Google cards. I'm sure you've heard of it, but if not, they are electrically charged and driverless cards. Currently, there is a public trial in Arizona, and they prove to be much safer and easier than cards, normal cards. So that raises a question, what will happen to the jobs of drivers? And last but not least, Pepper. Pepper, it is the first humanoid robot that can read facial expressions and detect emotions. Uh, it is now in many parts of the world and it is actually sold in Virgin. What will happen to humans? It can, uh, it can uh, work uh, in, in uh, uh, stores, interacting with normal human beings. Uh, this is Pepper being part of a family. And this is me meeting Pepper personally at a Virgin store and letting him assist me. And last but not least, Pepper giving a TEDx talk. This, these are just little parts of what Pepper can do and what technology can affect. So um, what will happen to us? So what are the jobs lost? Uh, the World Economic Forum uh, predicts the loss of more than 5 million jobs due to, ro to, due to robotic automation and the loss of more one, than 137 million workers around countries such as Cambodia, Indonesia, Vietnam and Thailand which are 56% of their total workforce. So what should we do? That raises a question, like are we going to stay jobless and uh, technology dominate us? But thankfully, uh, there are skills that you obtain, you and your job will survive robotic automation. First of all, jobs that include creativity. And what do I mean by jobs that include creativity? Well, robots are robots. They cannot think out of the box if you do not let them to. So, uh, jobs that, uh, that include creativity, such as artists, such as designers, uh, such as teachers, um, web developers, are all not risk of being replaced. Uh, the second is jobs that involve building complex relationships with people. And what do I mean by complex relationships with people? At the end, we people uh, feel more, co more comfortable um, uh, with other people, people like us. We cannot feel more comfortable with robots. They are still robots, they cannot fully understand emotions if we do not let put a code or write a code uh, that translates emotions to them. So jobs that involve building complex relationships with people, uh, such as doctors, psychiatrists, teachers, are not risk of being displaced. And the third, uh, jobs that are unpredictable. What do I mean by jobs that are unpredictable? Jobs that happen in unexpected hours or occasions. Uh, jobs, uh, for example, such as a doctor when uh, it's called in the middle of the night uh, to see a patient or when a firefighter is, uh, uh, is asked uh, for a fire building. So these are all examples of jobs that are not risk of being uh, automated. So lastly, uh, we as humans should be intelligent enough to outsmart robots by excelling at the right skills and choosing the right jobs to preserve ourselves in the coming robot future. Thank you.